I am aft on deck 11 of the Norwegian Sky cruise ship. It is July the 4th of 2018. It is almost exactly the rear of the ship. There you can see the great outdoor cafe. I want to walk you through what deck 11 has to offer. If you want to see what the buffet is like, that's in a separate review, but this will help handle everything else. So walking forward, this is a bar area, although people certainly bring in their selections from the buffet and sit and eat here, and they're welcome to do that. All of the bars here on this ship offer pretty standard offerings, the same thing. Whatever the sporting event of the day is, since we're on the TVs here, there are also a couple of video games. And as I turn to my left coming out of that, you have an area for teenagers, as well as the Il Adagio restaurant. One of the great hidden secrets of this ship is the Il Adagio, where I have reservations tomorrow night, and which is a special like, dining restaurant at those times, is also free and included at lunch, and serves an excellent pizza. And there's almost never a wait here. I say that, and for the first time on the cruise, it looks like there might be. But I will still walk through, show you the restaurant. You can see the pizza area there. And the pizza really is excellent. That's a pizza I would pay for on land. This is a comfortable place to come sit if you're in a fairly small group, although they've obviously got tables for larger groups. As you leave the Ladajo, you come into the main pool deck area of the ship. Sorry, it's about to get really loud. Because this ship has an all-inclusive drink package and tends to stay on three or four day trips to the Bahamas and to Cuba, there's a party crowd. This is the only sea day all week on this ship. As a result, the pool area is pretty crowded, as is the main bar. Most other days, here, Breakers Bar is actually comfortable and easy to get into. Huh. A game of cornhole. Showers before you get into or out of the pool. Stay with me just a minute so I can show you the other areas here on deck 11 after I get through the pool. A towel station where you can check in and out towels, although my stateroom steward left two in my room. available free to all the passengers. The main elevator bank, although, because the elevators here don't have a view, it is often much faster to get into them. We're now most of the way forward on deck 11, where there is one of the specialty restaurants, as well as the, um, spa. Pardon me, yeah, the, the exercise room in the spa. The gym is very well equipped and it's being heavily used today. There's the spa where I'm obviously not going to go in with the camera out of respect to people and their treatments, but I had a treatment there this morning. It's a lovely space. The spa is very well designed and look for our reviews separately on it in print. Now, moving forward yet again. There was a yoga room there on my left. And you have another one of the ship's large lounge areas. There's also some outdoor seating on it. So, that is deck 11 of this amazing ship of the Norwegian sky. If you want to know more about this ship, please follow us on Dine Drink Travel. We'd appreciate your support if you click like on Facebook 
or on Twitter on Instagram. You can also follow us on our webpage, www.dyingdrinktravel.com. Happy and safe travels.